Welcome back to part two of the dual solemn build. We're back out here. This is right where we finished off last time. And if you look behind me, this upper section is pretty close to good to go. Um, and this is the last table we worked on. But um, this first main straight is all the way in and it is looking really good. So we're gonna take a look at that, kind of go through what's been put in and why it's in there. And then we'll make our way down to what we're currently working on and trying to get finished up. So looking at the main straight, you see we got these three features on here. It's a double, another double directly after, and then the step up table, which is kind of just a table with another table stacked on top of it. Basically, this rhythm section, the whole idea is to be fastest on it, you gotta be able to approach it in some creative ways. You gotta be able to pump well, manual well, jump well. You gotta have a real good combination of bite control and hit it the quickest. Um, but everything is also set up with progression in mind. So the biggest features on here um, are all rollable from the start. So if you wanna just keep two tires on the ground, first time through, you can just pump, pump through them. You can have fun on all of it, enjoy all of it without jumping or manually or doing some more advanced techniques on it the first time through. So it's a really nice way to progress your skills a little bit in this area and just have fun while you're doing it. The step down has been put in. This is just gonna be the second to last feature leading directly into the finishing tabletop for the course. Um, this is another feature, as with really all of them on the course we're trying to do, um, is completely rideable from anyone on Strider bikes all the way up to experts. It is totally rollable and you can just roll through it, but if you wanna jump it, you can jump it, you can manual through it. Really those three options are persistent on all the features of this course. Um, and if you jump it, I think it's around 18 or 19 feet. So a decently sizable step down leading directly to this final tabletop, which we are working on right now. Michael's been out here for a while working with the skid steer, just dumping piles of dirt to get this thing piled up. It's probably the biggest dirt pile for a jump I've ever seen. Um, it's definitely not the longest jump, but just the sheer size and amount of dirt that he had to use to get this thing piled up to make it double wide or I guess even really triple wide to be comfortable for two riders to be on at the same time um, is pretty astounding but we've gotten it piled up so the steps now are to go ahead and get some hand packing going and then get the clay packer on that thing this can kind of be the most tedious part especially when the dirt piling has been with the skid steer just because that goes so quickly you see so much progress get made whereas this seems a lot more slow going it doesn't seem like you're doing quite as much but these finishing touches are the most important part of it for sure. Um, you got to make sure that you get a really good pack on there. So we're going over it with the clay packer until basically we see a nice kind of oily looking sheen to the dirt. Fills with Phil the madman. That dude wild. Oh my God. Fan favorite right here. So we're working on getting the start hill done here. It's kind of the last big step to get the course all the way opened up. As we're putting it through, um, just a big important part is to make sure that it is very structurally sound. Especially a big feature like this, it's gonna get a lot of foot traffic. Um, and you wanna make sure it holds up well. So first of all, if you're building wood features, make sure you know what you're doing. We got a guy, Hank, out here who has built a lot of these and works in construction. Um, so he really knows what he's doing as far as the schematics and plans to make sure that this thing is stable, it's sturdy, and if something breaks, it's easily replaced. We're putting supports in between each of the planks of wood so that it's nice and sturdy. You don't have any flex when people are going up it. You're not feeling any kind of unnerving wobble. From there, we're coming through with decking and just decking the whole thing off. As far as the overall design of the start ramp, um, the radius on the roll-in is very much based off of a BMX track. So you're gonna start with a little bit more level radius once it's rolling and then you see that it drops to a steeper angle. The reason for this is before it drops to that steeper angle is actually where the gate's gonna be. So the gate's not gonna start on the flat area. It's gonna start with that kind of mellow angle so that you can brace up against the gate easier. It's a lot easier to get up on a gate when the angle's kind of pushing you into it. 
rather than having to start on a gate flat. So that will be the gate start area and then you roll in down the back side onto the first set of turns. All right, start gates all finished. Got a lot of people out here working, trying to hurry up and get this thing done so we can ride it a little bit today. Definitely got a lot of finishing touches left to do, but uh, as far as just being able to ride the full thing from top to bottom, I think I'll probably be there in about 30 minutes or so. Working on these last two sets of turns that are kind of in a little bit rougher shape to get them ready to roll. what you do when the dirt's too wet to pack with a clay packer. Works well enough. This man's thinking outside the box. We got a finger. We got a finger. Two, one. Yeah. Wrap it, boy. All come together today. Weren't supposed to get this much sunlight, but it's been good out here. The kids are stoked. It's running nice. People are having fun. Both lanes open, both lanes done. And it looks good. So this will probably be the end of this video. Next video you're gonna see on Dual Solemn will just be an edit of some good old Dual Solemn racing. I'm gonna ride my bike for a little bit. I'll see you guys real soon. Stay shreddy, my friends. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Woo. Yeah, buddy. Pump it, Phil. One.